Grade 5 Math number 31 use base 10 blocks to subtract decimals. We just used these to add decimals and now we're going to use them to subtract. So because our base 10 system is base 10, everything is based on 10s. So we can use our flat of 100 that we were using to add whole numbers, we can use it to represent one whole as if that was just one. Because there's 10 of these in here, we can say that this is one-tenth, or point one, of these. Because there's 100 of these little yellow guys inside of here, you can see one little cube right there, that's one of those, we could say this little yellow guy is one one-hundredth of that. So we can use it to represent one-hundredth, okay? Then we can subtract. We can use these to help us subtract. So if I had eight-tenths, so remember, the green ones are one-tenth. So if I had eight of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I took six of them away, one, two, three, four, five, six, that would leave me with two of them, two-tenths. 0.8 minus 0.6 equals 0.2. Eight-tenths minus six-tenths equals two-tenths. See? If I had five of them, so I had five-tenths, and I took three away, then that would just leave two. Five tenths minus three tenths is two tenths. See how the denominator is just staying the same because we're still dealing with tenths? So 0 0.5 minus 0 0.3 equals 0 0.2. Five tenths minus three tenths equals two tenths. All right? Each one of these little yellow ones equals one hundredth. So if we had nine of them and I took these three away, that would leave just six. Nine one-hundredths minus three one-hundredths equals six one-hundredths. Nine one-hundredths minus three one-hundredths equals six one-hundredths. Okay? So remember how I always say that a fraction, when you have like nine one-hundredths, what it really means is nine parts of one-hundred. I always say that because that helps you understand fractions. So if you had nine parts out of a hundred and we took three parts away from that nine parts of a hundred, you would have six parts out of a hundred left. See? If you had a pizza cut into a hundred parts and someone gave you nine parts of it and then your mom said, I'm really hungry. Can I have three parts? Now you would be down to the six parts out of a hundred, see? Because you started with nine parts out of a hundred. So that's how, when we're subtracting decimals, which is like subtracting fractions, we can go from nine one-hundredths to six one-hundredths or three one-hundredths, see? Because we're taking the parts away. All right, so if we had one and twenty-four hundredths, which would be one full block, two tenths, and four hundredths, and we wanted to take one and one hundredth away, I mean, uh, eleven hundredths away, that would be one green one and one little yellow guy, that means we would take away this green one and one little yellow one, and that would leave one and thirteen hundredths left over. See? Can you see that? So we have 1 and 24 hundredths minus 11 hundredths. And if we did it stacking and subtracting, you can see 4 take away 1 is 3, 2 take away 1 is 1, and we drop the 1 down. We always keep our decimal point really straight. See that? If we needed to borrow or regroup, then we could start by making 10 of these little guys to represent one green one so that we can take from it right away, see? If we had 2 and 54 hundredths and wanted to take away 1 and 15 hundredths, it would equal 1 and 39 hundredths, and this is how. If we've got 2 and 54 hundredths, we'll see how the 4 is in the hundredths place and we need to borrow to regroup. So if we turn one of these into a 10 right away, into 10 single yellow ones, when we have to take the 5 away, there's only 4 here, see, because there's 4 hundredths, there's four of these and one of these turned into 10. 
That way I could take the five away. I could take one of these away down here, and then I could take away these four yellow ones, and then I took the five. See? I took that five away. So now it leaves nine little yellow guys, right? Well, that's the nine little yellow guys that are left over. See? Nine. And we would take one of the green ones away. See? And we would take one of these blue ones away. Then we would have taken away one blue, one green, and the five yellow. See? And we would end up with one and three and nine. See? One, three, and nine. So we can regroup by turning one of these full ones into ten little ones, or we could even break this up into ten green ones, couldn't we? So, just like whole numbers, we never mix up the place values when we're adding or subtracting. Ever, ever. When you're adding 231 plus 7, you don't put the 7 in the tens place. Because then it would be like you're adding 70, right? You would put the 7 in the 1's place, wouldn't you? Because otherwise, you it would be adding wrong. Same thing in decimals. And the way to keep them straight is by keeping our decimal points straight. Look, you can't add 3 tenths to 4 hundredths. That is really wrong. You keep your decimal points really straight, pretty and perfect, going straight up and down. And then you can see that the 7 tenths and the 3 tenths are stacked on top of each other. There's no hundredths, so the 4 is just going to come down. 7 take away 3 is 4, and we bring the 1 down. See, this is for subtraction. All right? So keep your decimal points straight, perfect, and pretty. Okay? Going straight up and down. Now, we're on video number 31. If you want to watch my grade 5 math video number 18, it explains base 10 and our place value system extremely well and why our numbers equal what they equal. If you can understand our place values and our base 10 system, you're going to understand decimals. Okay? So, this is how you subtract decimals, and this is how you can use these models and manipulatives to help you subtract decimals. All right? Replace a bar for 10 singles to help you so you can regroup. And another thing you can do is if you don't have these models to work with, you can make your own. You can get um, graph paper that's got the boxes in it, and you can make a hundred, or you could use school paper to make a, a hundred block or a ten long. You can use construction paper, or you can use school paper and color them yellow to make the little units. And you can make your own, and they're kind of fun to make. That will help you when you're trying to add and subtract fractions, okay? It will even help you when you're adding and subtracting whole numbers. So, be a little art project for you. We're going to continue talking about decimals. I'll see you next video. Keep up the good work. Keep trying. I'll see you. Bye.